coached three games in three games, three wins against Montreal this year. What is it about playing Montreal that seems to agree with you guys this year? Yeah, uh, hard to say. Um, you know, we, we've played pretty good games. Uh, I thought tonight, uh, overall, we played uh, well. You know, I don't want to say, like, really, really well, but I thought we played well for sure. I thought we did uh, uh, a lot of things. We didn't beat ourselves. I thought we played more efficient overall. Um, obviously, we had the big mistake in the power play, but uh, uh, we had a couple of other individual errors. But I thought our mindset was right to play smart, efficient hockey and, and take what's given, um, you know, even at the end there. Uh, Zadina's goal, he, he laid it down the wall earlier in that shift and instead of trying to make something out of nothing and and you have good ozone and then it results in a, in a goal. So um, I was happy with that for sure. Uh, I thought in a lot of ways there were some steps forward. Uh, uh, you know, I, again, I don't know why Montreal that were 3-0. and I don't, I don't know that, but I was more happy with the performance. Jeff, we all remember what Philip Zadina said on draft night about filling the Nets. He looked like... Uh overjoyed when he scored that goal yeah he um you know well first of all he loves scoring against anybody but yeah he's you know obviously that was a a comment that he made I, in the end i'm just really happy with his overall progress and and you know i think he's a talented player that when he's in those spots can score i think uh Ben Simon and our development group has done a, done a real good job with him. He's a, he's a much better player today than he was a year ago. Uh, he's done a great job. I mean, he's the first one uh, that deserves that compliment. Um, he's uh, he's got he's got certainly part of it's confidence, but part of it's how he's playing. Uh, he, he's doing a really good job of stopping on pucks. He's doing a really good job of playing from the right side of the puck. Uh, he's winning battles, so then he has the puck way more. And um, uh, you know, so I think it's uh, it's it's right steps in in the right direction. Jeff, even has a guy like that that has that shooting mentality and a team. There's a lot of guys that like to pass first. Well, I think beyond just uh, the shooting mentality, the ability to score. I mean, he's got you know he's got a real ability to score. I think his shooting percentage has been real low from some of the stuff that I've heard. I don't know that. Uh, I don't look at uh, uh, all of that. But um, you know, I think uh, he's got the ability to score, and he, and he definitely has the shooting mentality. And, and I think it's a positive. There's times where he gets in that scoring square that you know even there's a potential for a pass to be made, but I never ever talk to him about it because I'm not going to take away that shot first mentality. Game, uh, Mike Green, that check in the back, he went into the boards awkward. We obviously finished the game and everything, but how scared were you at that point in time for him? And uh, is everything okay with him? Yeah, I think everything's fine. Um, you know, obviously finished the game. Um, I thought, uh, you know, that was a scary hit for sure. Um, you see somebody go in like that, they can get hurt bad. Uh, anything on the boards like that's scary. Um, he, he came back to play, I think, the best game he's played in, uh, in a long time. I thought he was absolutely excellent. Uh, I thought he was one of the best players on the ice. Uh, won battle, skated the puck, made good decisions. That's why we had him out there at the end. He earned that ice at the end, and I thought he played excellent. There were a couple instances there where maybe you guys could have melted or whatever, you know, whatever you want to say. It didn't happen tonight. I mean, what was the... Yeah, you know, I think, uh, I, think, I think through the course of the season, the one thing we've done a good job of is when we've got knocked down, getting up for the game. We haven't done that always real well in the game. And we've talked a lot about it where, you know, there's been certain times we've melted. And, and I think we've been way better at that lately. Uh, just understand, just get knocked down, you just get back up. And I, I think that's the key to success in life is, is just continue to get back up. And, and we did a good job of that uh, in game here today. You know, they obviously, I thought we were playing pretty good and they scored the go ahead goal kind of out of nowhere. And, and, uh, and, and we just kept going. So we just got to keep, keep grinding and playing with that same mentality. Franz Nelson looked like his old self on the second goal. Mm -hmm. How much good was it to see him have a night like this? Well, I think, you know, goals are, <clears throat> scoring is important when you haven't scored at all. And, and, you know, Franz for a long time, uh, is, 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 is really worked and competed and, and he cares a ton and he's, he's I think his game has been much better after about the, the first couple of weeks he just has had no luck production wise and so for him to score I think is uh, real important I think he's again he's a guy that that does it right as much as he possibly can. He's not perfect. He makes mistakes, uh, and it hasn't been the type of year he's wanted to have. But he's kept going. So hopefully he can have a real big second half. That you have to was with Zadina earlier. Is that a play that he made in <coughs> September, October of this year? Say again. Is that a play that Zadina makes? That the one you talked about earlier down there? No. Uh, 
Yeah, it's not a play that would would have come natural to him. You know, you try to the offensive guys want to try to make something out of nothing a lot of times. And honestly, as a hockey team, you know, I alluded to it after the Chicago game. We 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 have to learn to stop beating ourselves, and we'll never be a good team here until we stop that. And um, and that's not next. That's not Friday. That wasn't today. That's that's you know a month from now, two months from now, two years from now. Like you can't beat yourselves. And um, you know, we had a, a long meeting about that. Now that that play was indicative of it so I think you know not just his own growth but from the team's perspective I thought we did a much better job of that take what's given um, you know when you're a young talented player you tend to want to force things you want to make something happen and uh, he, he very rarely does that work out well for a young guy like that to have a moment like this where he gets the game winner he gets the first star what can that kind of do for him now going forward uh, it, well I don't think there's any doubt that as you as you have good games, you build confidence, and confidence is such a huge factor in today's NHL because of how close every team is and how close every player is, and, and it is really really hard uh, to be a real good player in this league. And so as you as you grow confidence, your game uh, the trajectory of your game really goes upward. So uh, you know the more games he puts together like that, the more confidence he has, the more confidence we have in him, and uh, it, it can be a real positive thing. Lash, how do you and the guys feel for Adam Ernie getting in on that uh, game winner uh, on the day that his daughter's born? Yeah, you know, good for him. Uh... Uh, obviously, his daughter was born, uh, you know, early this morning, and um, uh, you know, I talked to him this morning. Just said, make sure you stay home today and get some sleep. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think you got lots. I know how that feels. Um, but you know, he was he was definitely playing. He wanted to play 100. percent I thought he actually played pretty well. What do you think of Crowd's job on Okanda? Um, you know, I thought uh, I, I couldn't get myself to sing it. Uh, I, I like Canada. I like Canada, but. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 yeah, anyways, yeah, so, I, you know who I did? I actually saw Trevor singing it, so I thought that was really impressive. <laughs> Jeff, was Giovanni's game tonight exactly what you were talking about, him understanding what his role is and what he needs to do to stay in the NHL? Um, you know, I thought he, he, he did some, in some portions of his game. Um, you know, I thought there was a few times he exposed the puck a little bit that we're going to keep working on. You know, we're, we're uh, just protect it, don't expose it, keep it closer to your body. He's got a huge body. The one thing he has is he's a big man. He's a big man in this league. It's hard to be a big man in this league. Lots of guys are big. They come to this league and they're not that big. He's a big man. So, um, you know, I think there's areas of his game to continue to get better at. Uh, I think he does a good job, though, of, uh, of, of being physical and, and, and doing the types of things he, he needs to do to, to be a successful player.